Tulip snakes are one of the best addition to lethal company. Even though they are considered to be an enemy, they are actually extremely useful. So in this video, I want to show you how you could use them and everything you need to know about them. The lore describes these squiggly little motherfuckers as fearless and stubborn. They in fact don't care if there's a larger predator nearby, they will just run at them and will die. Tulip snakes are known to lift heavy and large objects into the air. So I guess they are perfect for my large YouTuber bot. And on top of that, these controls are absolutely adorable if they latch on to you. So it's just me and you now. So we are quickly going to the new map Adamants because these little bastards are mostly seen on forest planets. So we are here on Adamants. Let's try to find one of these motherfuckers here. Don't mistake them with Manticoils, by the way. These only exist to fill the skies with crap. Oh, there is one. Uh, already, see that? He's attacking me already. Haha, <laughs> he cannot really hit me, it seems. You can actually evade them, right, by just strafing left and right. They are actually extremely dumb. Super adorable. They also... Oh, one has uh, managed to latch on to me. If you get two of them, by the way, we can fly up. One of them is not doing shit. But if you get two of them at least, uh, you can actually fly up. So let's get one of them. And uh, let's see. All right, we are flying. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Get me up. So they will carry you for about 10 seconds. And you can literally jump into the ship from the valley. But, right? And we are in the ship. Let's go. <laughs> After some time, they will uh, go away uh, again, by the way. So there we go. They're already attacking again. So after they attacked you, they will walk away a little bit again. They have like a cooldown. Uh, so you cannot get them on again. But that cooldown is only like 5 to 10 seconds or something. And uh, they will latch onto you again after that cooldown appears. And what are, what are those shitholes doing here now? Come on, guys. Those complete assholes will kill my little guys, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, there's even more of them. God dang it, God. Fuck off. Don't do it. See that? They already killed one. Uh, that one is dead forever. Unfortunately, they will not come back, right? Look at these stupid idiots, man. Ah, it's so annoying, these baboon hawks. I'm not gonna lie. But what is going on over here? I didn't I didn't ask for that. There's actually a mimic coming and the giant and the robot. Oh my god, don't do it. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. Oh, this is actually chaos. Oh my god, so the baboon hawks uh, are, seem to be gone, right? Uh, thanks to the robot, but uh, that is a bit of a problem, obviously. Also, the new enemies, uh, the tulip snakes, are actually leaving after 3 p.m., it seems. They are like uh, day active. But after that, I haven't seen them anymore, so... Oh yeah, he's burning! Let's go, man! The robot is doing its thing. I like it. Yeah, get shit on, man! Get shit on! There he goes! There he goes! <laughs> These little guys are actually dumb as fuck. If they are elevated, that means if they are above you, uh, they will jump at you horizontally, right? So they cannot even reach you. See that? He actually jumps horizontally, so he needs to be actually lower than you to actually latch on to you. Let's try to get a, a lot of them on top of me. Oh, we are already flying. Don't do it. Don't do it. We need to find more. No, no, no. Oh, there we are. We have three of them. Let's get one of them on top of us. There's actually two more there. Right there, there. Here we go. You can also just walk over them. We have four of them. You can get up to five of them on top of you. Let's try to fly up with that. If you jump, by the way, you go up really high with them. And the only problem uh, with, with that is they will drop you at some point. And you might actually die to fall damage. Just like that, right? So the more of them that latch onto you, the higher they will take you. So technically, these guys can be dangerous and can be considered to be an enemy. But most of the time, they're actually super useful. If they're on top of you, you can basically maneuver them just like a jetpack. The only thing you can't really do is control the up and down movement though. If you want to avoid them taking you very high up, you need to fly horizontally and preferably also fly into a wall. So let's quickly try this. We're gonna get two tulip snakes over here. There we go. And we're gonna try to fly up right into a wall up there. Well, we are too high already. But if you fly horizontally... You should not see that. You're actually blocked. You're not going higher up. Sometimes you can even use that here on the wall. Here, let's try it over here. There we go. We don't want to go higher up, right? So, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Where is it? Yeah, hi. They are also blocking uh, line of sight, obviously, right? They, they can edge onto you right in front of you. See that? If you're like basically 
uh, hogging a wall like that, then you should be fine, right? You should be fine. And these little assholes can't do anything. They can't do shit. You're kind of stuck. Right, another one wants to come. Yeah, everyone wants to join the party. There we go. See that? They are not latching onto you again straight away. You, uh, they have a little bit of a cooldown until they aggro again. If you just follow them. See that? That one. Okay, that one was behind me. But they aggro again. And there we go. We got them again. Ah, here we go. We should fly somewhere where we drop down safely. Otherwise, we're going to die just like that. Ooh, almost died. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Get them one again here. Okay, the other one is still... Uh, he's like bucked. What the hell is going on? But just two of them. All right, here we go. Let's fly up again. We're going... No, he's blocking the other side. God dang it. Why are you not flying? There we go. We're flying. So if you jump... Oh, Jesus. Okay. That was something else I wanted to show. So the more of them that latch onto you, the faster you go, obviously. And if you hit an object, then they can technically kill you with just that speed. So make sure to not hit any trees or walls. Also very important to know, as soon as you take any damage whatsoever, they will go away immediately. And they will start roaming around randomly again. God dang it, every time I die, I need to find these little motherfuckers again. Because they don't have a guaranteed spawn, obviously. Hey, we're back! Yay! Let's find them! Oh, there we go. We already found them. Okay, also something I wanted to show you guys is if you... I don't. I think it's a bug right now, but if one of them is latching on to you and you have a jetpack... Come on. Easy, are you stupid or what? Where the hell is it? Where is it? It's gone. Oh, there it is. They actually missed. There we go. All right, if you go up with that, if they uh, try to take you up... We need two of them. God dang it. Where... Is there a body of you? God dang it. Little garbage truck, you. Unbelievable. Oh, there is one. All right, come here. Come here, little shithole. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. All right, let's get, get me up there. Get me up there. There we go. If you drop your jetpack, it will immediately fall down again, right? I, t I took a little bit of fall damage, obviously, but if you drop your jetpack while they are flying up with you, they will go down with you immediately. I know this is completely useless, but hey, you know, the more you know. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, these shitholes are taking me again. Ah. Oh. You cannot take me up. Here we go. See that? We are completely safe. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Also, something I wanted to show you. What the hell is going on right now? If you go into main here on Adamant with uh, them attached, and they will fly up right in the main hall, you will actually fly up into the vent here, and you will die instantly. <laughs> so if you want to be nice to your friends... Then just do that. Get them into main with at least two of these crap holes attached. If you get into the building with one of them, they will actually roam around once they get off of you. Look at him, how adorable he is. He tries to fly, right? Oh no! No, that's the wrong one that shot! No, no, I don't want that! No, 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 no! Oh my god, what? Oh god, he latched on to me again! What is he going? What is going on here? That is the most... That is the worst. Okay, Mio, get off of me. Get off of me. Oh, bad, bad thumper. Bad thumper. We are looping thumpers, guys. It's all good, right? Best looping spots in the, in the world here. No problem against thumpers. We are just dancing around it. Oh, no. So the thumper actually did damage to me. And uh, the tulip snake actually went away straight away. So the cool thing about these tulip snakes walking around in the building here. They can also open doors. Just saying, just like this fucking fucker! Well, what the hell is going on here? What? So why do I think the tulip snakes are actually super useful? If you are one of those Stone Age people that don't use the jetpack, then you should totally start using the tulip snakes. Especially here on Adamans, it takes a lot of time to get down the valley and up the valley again to the ship. So if you're really heavy, you get some of these idiots on top of you, right? And then we jump and we fly over there, just like that. And we saved a lot of time already, right? We jump again and we are already at the ship. Isn't that great? And we can even drop items right over here near the ship. Isn't that great, right? Okay. Uh, you don't want to go further, you think? I don't want to do that. No, no, no. We are flying horizontally so they don't drag us up, right? That's how we do it. But there's no idiot coming. What is going on? He's actually eating our loot. God dang it, man. This game. This motherfucking game. Stop it. 
Ouch. Okay, that, that took me into critical. I think you've seen. I think you've seen the the benefit of uh, these guys, right? You can save a lot of time. Bring me back your loot. You're gonna be uh, really fast. Bring me back the loot with them. But you should do it really early in the morning because they will. They're gonna disappear later on in the day. So make sure to use them wisely very early on in the day. Bring back heavy items very quickly so you can secure them. Hey, what are you looking at? Eh? What are you looking at? Don't look. Don't look at me. Also, if you want to be an evil old fart just like me, you can also use them one time only. Once they propel you up, you just take a shovel with you and you hit them once and they are dead. Yes, you heard that right. They will never come back. Isn't that great? So if you are annoyed by these adorable little fox, you can always just kill them. And I think that concludes my guide of these little shitheads. Let me know in the comments down below how you like these new monsters. I would love to know. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Mwah. Big schmouts. Mm -hmm.